Hi, good morning. Welcome to a new lesson where we are going to go on with the unit two, factors and multiples, and we are going to, to learn now what are common factors. Imagine we have uh, the list of factors of divisors of two or more numbers. Let's, let's start with numbers, let's see the numbers 18 and 12, for example. So, which are the factors of number 18? You know that one is a universal factor, so, and you have also, for sure, the same number. Both are factors. Is two a divisor of 18? Yes, it is. And then, because it is two, when you divide, you get that it is nine, another factor. Do you have another one? Is divisible by three? Yes, it is. Because it is divisible by three, when you divide, you get six. And that's all. Okay, so the factors of 18 are one, two, three, six, nine, 18. Good. Now, let's erase this and go to the 12. Factors of 12, we have one, 12 for sure. We have two, six, of course, because six times two is 12, three, and four. So here we have all the factors of 12, two. So now we have the list of factors of two numbers, okay? And now, if we want to find the common factors, are Common factors are those factors that are factors of both. So the common factors of 12, the common factors of 12 and 18 are 1, 2, yes, 3, 6, and that's it. So we copy one, two, three, and six. That's it. Good. These are the common factors, but, 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 there is also a very, very important common factor that is the greatest of these common factors. It's called the greatest common factor. And in this case, the greatest common factor is number six. So the greatest common factor of uh, 18 and, and 12 is six. Good. What is the greatest common factor? The greatest common factor of two or more numbers is always the greatest of the common divisors or factors of these two numbers or, or three numbers. Okay, so what do we know about the common factors or the highest common factor? The highest common factor is always a factor because it's a factor cannot be greater than any of the numbers. Of course, you know that the factors of a number are always less than this number. So then, because it is a factor of all the numbers, it is impossible to be greater than any of them. It will be one of them. Yes, it can be one of them because all numbers has a factor that is itself. So it can be coincide that this number is one of the common factors and then the greatest common factor is this. Can be one. Yes, it will be one, the highest common factor. It, it will be one if there is not another common factor. Okay, you have two numbers that are prime between them. For example, let's, let's say number, I don't know, 14 and 15. These two numbers, they don't have any common factor except for because it is two times seven, and this is three times five, except for one. 
then the highest common factor between 14 and 15 will be 1. So we, we can write that the highest common factor of 14 and 15 was 1. Yes. Highest common factor, sorry. Highest common factor. Okay. And you are going to learn a general method, a general way to calculate the highest common factor. This is going to be in another video. Hope it was helpful for you. Watch again if you need it and see each other in another video or in class.